Now we come to the P.A. Wood Inspirational Youth Award for young Essex residents who have inspired others in the community through their achievements. To protect the awards, please welcome from sponsors P.A. Wood, their managing director, Georgina Wood. inspired a whole generation of young people in Essex this year when winning the first ever Kids Voice. She also impressed her Essex-based mentor, Pixie Lott, with her powerful and beautiful voice and the bright way she conducted herself throughout the competition. We thank her for helping us this evening and are delighted to include her in our awards. Please welcome, highly commended, inspirational youth, Jess Kelly. Next to be highly commended in this category is Abigail Greenslade from Dagenham. Now, Abigail has a very large and a very close family. When suddenly, in the space of just four weeks, two of their most loved seniors passed away, they were near to breakdown. That's when Abigail put aside her own needs and made the caring of her five siblings and six cousins her first priority. She got them up in the morning, gave them breakfast, made packed lunches, ensured that they all got to school, prepared dinner in the evening, and settled them into their beds. She consoled them and put their grief in front of her own. For Abigail, there was no time left for friends, clubs, and parties, but she made time for college and completed her studies into childcare and passed her exam. There are many nominations, but Abigail, but the last word should come from her nan, Catherine, who wrote this, she is a role model and an inspiration to youth. I have nominated her so she can realize how much she's loved and how much everyone appreciates her hard work. Please welcome, highly commended, inspirational youth, Abigail Greenstone. Youth is Riley Doe from Pitsy. 15 year old Riley is an outstanding young man who, for the last two years, has selflessly organised a charity football match. He arranges local sponsors, professional looking programmes, and publicity through social media. Last year, he persuaded a professional player from Southend United to attend. He encourages the players from both teams to pay the pitch fees themselves to make as much money as possible for the charities. The match in this year supported Macmillan Cancer Support. He set himself a target hoping to raise £800. Well, eventually, he raised just under £1,800. He's currently allowing the public to vote on which charity match should, should gain his support next year. A bright young man, please welcome, highly commended, inspirational youth, Riley Go. <laughs> Next highly commended inspirational youth is 18-year-old Esther Green from Tulsa Darcy. These are the words of her nominator, Denise Clark. Esther is an amazing young lady, courageous and inspiring. While bravely enduring her fourth battle with cancer, she maintains a positive attitude and is determined to attend Cambridge University as planned. She never utters a word of complaint and is the most kind-hearted, caring and thoughtful person, always putting others before herself and keeping her family strong in the process. Please welcome a very inspirational girl, 
highly commend Esther Green. Now, next highly commended is Max Waldridge from Earl's Cove. Now, Max is a natural dancer, having since the age of four attended dance competitions with his elder sister, Emily. Despite occasional bullying at school, Max retained his passion for dance. To name a few of his achievements, he has made the top level for his age group champs category. He's been placed fifth in the national finals at Blackpool. He became Essex champion at the Essex freestyle finals, and he's won supreme titles at national competitions, and so much more. The list is almost endless. Now Max attends the Pendrill Com Competitive Dance School in Halstead, which compete all over the country almost every weekend. Max also attends a class at his old primary school in Earl's Cove, where he volunteers as a teacher alongside the principal. He continues to show his support to younger dancers either by setting up a routine or giving them a talk and a thumbs up to give them sorry, a thumbs up to give them confidence before they take to the floor. In the words of his sister Emily, everyone in his life respects him and would love to see him recognised for his courage, kindness and talent. <coughs> to that Emily, the Pride of Essex would like to add and for his inspiration. Please welcome Highly commended, inspirational youth, Max Waldridge. Now the winner of the PNA Wood Inspirational Youth for 2017 is 16-year-old Reeny Lewis Driver from Cockford, Colchester. Now, Reeny's medical problems began when she was only eight weeks old. She was diagnosed with a very rare lung disease. Over the next few years, her health continued to be unstable, requiring oxygen and transfusions on a 24-hour basis. Well, Great Ormond Street decided to change her transfusions to a far less painful and traumatic sub-cut method, taking two hours in every week. This has now been the case for 13 years. Her parents were told that she might not make it to adulthood without a heart and lung transplant. Well, Rini has proved them wrong. However, there have been many complications and mountains for Rini to climb. She still needs oxygen for 10 to 12 hours each night and it appears that her future will always consist of that need, plus medications, transfusions, numerous blood tests and hospital appointments. Despite it all, Reedy remains happy, polite, caring, and moreover, determined young lady. She was nominated by a school assistant head of house, Caroline Harvey, who informed us that Reedy has won an award at school given annually to the students who have achieved despite adversity. In the summer, Reedy sat seven GCSEs and passed every single exam. Carolyn Harvey says, I feel honoured to witness as she matured into a delightful and generous young lady. Reedy is so worthy of a Pride of Essex Award. She's a real life hero and has left me feeling truly humbled. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the PA Wood Inspirational Youth for 2017, Reedy Lewis Driver. Yeah. 